The trachea and esophagus are two distinct anatomical structures located in the neck and chest, each serving vital yet very different functions in the human body. Understanding the differences between the trachea and the esophagus is crucial for grasping how our respiratory and digestive systems operate, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. The trachea, commonly known as the windpipe, is an essential part of the respiratory system. It is a cylindrical tube approximately 10 to 12 centimeters in length in adults, extending from the larynx down to the bronchi, which leads to the lungs. The primary function of the trachea is to provide a clear airway for air to enter and exit the lungs. Structurally, the trachea is supported by C-shaped cartilaginous rings that maintain its shape and keep the airway open. These rings are open at the back, allowing the trachea to collapse slightly so that the esophagus, which lies directly behind it, can expand when swallowing food. The inner lining of the trachea is covered with cilia and mucus-producing cells that trap and expel foreign particles, protecting the lungs from inhaled contaminants. In contrast, the esophagus is a muscular tube that is part of the digestive system. It measures about 25 centimeters in length and serves as the passageway for food and liquids to travel from the mouth to the stomach. The esophagus begins at the pharynx, behind the trachea, and descends to the stomach, passing through the diaphragm. The walls of the esophagus are composed of layers of muscle that contract rhythmically in a process known as peristalsis, pushing the food downwards. Unlike the trachea, the esophagus does not have cartilaginous support. Instead, it relies on muscle contractions to move food along. The inner lining of the esophagus is made of stratified squamous epithelium designed to withstand the friction and wear from food particles during swallowing. A critical distinction between the trachea and esophagus is their roles in the body's systems. The trachea facilitates respiration, ensuring that oxygen reaches the lungs and carbon dioxide is expelled from the body. Breathing is an involuntary process controlled by the autonomic nervous system, though it can also be consciously regulated to some extent. On the other hand, the esophagus is integral to the digestive process, transporting ingested materials to the stomach, where digestion continues. Swallowing is a voluntary action, but once food enters the esophagus, the process becomes involuntary, governed by peristaltic movements. While the trachea and esophagus are located near each other and may appear similar at a glance, they perform distinctly different functions essential to human survival. The trachea is the main conduit for air to reach the lungs, protected and supported by cartilage whereas the esophagus is a muscular tube that conveys food to the stomach through peristaltic motion. Their differences in structure and function highlight the remarkable specialization of human anatomy, ensuring that both respiration and digestion occur efficiently and effectively. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.